So in this video, we will try to connect ESP8266 with uh, Amazon's AWS IoT uh, service using MQTT and WebSocket. Uh, again, I didn't write this whole thing and I would attribute everything that I posted here to this particular person. Um, I, all I did is just took his source and added a wrapper around all the different components that he had. Uh, so that this will going to work with uh, Arduino IDE but um, so all you have to do here is just go clone and download and download the zip file and install it on your Arduino IDE and I have included a simple MQTT example okay um, so in this example I'm just going to show so you're going to uh, need to fill your SSID and password and obviously install this particular library and um, enter these details and I'm going to show you how you have to create these details so I just go and create a device and uh, we can start sending messages on this so here uh, we have uh, the first thing is to go to your AWS account uh, so the uh, you log into your AWS account you sign up uh, I think the first year uh, you get is uh, free um, so I'm in uh, US uh, and then East Coast so basically I'm using this particular server I might move to Ohio server later on but um, you just require two different uh, things that uh, needs to be set up first uh, the first thing is IO, IOT core and the second thing is IAM so basically this is uh, going to fill up this particular portion of your um, uh, Arduino IDE code so First, let's go and look at uh, IoT Core. So go and search for IoT Core, and this thing is going to pop up. Okay. Um, so here, just click on Manage. Uh, go and click on Create. Um, so here, it'll ask you what you want to do. So let's just go and uh, create a single thing. Name it whatever. Uh, so we can say YouTube Test. Um, you can name a type. Uh, let's just say display type um, then let's go and uh, you can obviously create a group um, and uh, that's it so you don't enter anything just click next uh, okay and then uh, create a certificate uh, so that's your next step um, so now you're going to get uh, three different certificates um, so this is the only time I think you will get it so what I would say is download these guys uh, and save it and uh, also save uh, the root CA certificate as well so there you go so basically do that and uh, then click on activate so basically uh, these certificates are now activated then let's say attach a policy so here um, you see there's no this is the policy that I have already created so we will go and create this policy later on um, so here let's say IOT yeah okay there's nothing here so we'll create a policy um, that's already uh, present in my account so there you go so you have a YouTube test okay so then we go to secure certificate so you have this guy so you see there you go I'm going to delete this at the end of this video so don't go ahead and use this but uh, there you go policies right so you say attach a policy uh, okay let's go back um, so there you go policies so let's go and create a policy so let's say YouTube test policy there you go so in this case uh, say IOT star and uh, here you want to give access to everything okay so once you do that say allow and then create so basically this policy gives access to everything so this is what it should look like okay um, so once you create this policy go back to certificates and click on this uh, policy so you see uh, you can just say attach a policy so you see this that populates so there you go so you have this guy um, then you can go and attach a thing so in this case this is the thing that we created so you can attach this so basically now this certificate is connected to 
this particular thing okay um, so AWS bills you per thing so each thing costs you around one dollar twenty five cents um, per month but uh, there you go so but this that's it so now you're all set up um, so you have your shadow is what you actually see in your MQTT um, and uh, this is the link that you'll use to interact so you're going to use the, this and um, this is where you will see the messages pop up so this is uh, one of the easiest thing uh, that I have used um, there are other uh, different uh, cloud options but let's go ahead and uh, uh, see how to use this okay um, security certificate okay this is all good um, so okay so all you have to do is first um, um, make sure that you are copy this guy go to your Adreno code I have already said that um, then you see there's something called endpoint so this is your endpoint so you uh, go to your thing interact and you have this guy right so copy this and uh, paste that here and paste that here okay so that is your MQTT host uh, and this is your um, endpoint okay so next uh, thing is you need to be able to connect to this particular stuff and you can also enter this uh, AWS topic okay so this is actually your thing name so you see uh, this is the link that you use to update this particular shadow so you copy uh, the name of the object and you can paste it here okay so see it just matches exactly what it tells you okay um, so okay once this is done then let's go to IAM console um, so again here you just go and type in IAM and this guy pops up and this is what it creates um, so let's go and create uh, so you know YouTube test user um, so this guy we're going to give programmatic access click on next um, and then um, we can add this to a group uh, or we can just create another group um, so here I think I have okay so we have this guy um, so let's go and check IOT okay so have some here but uh, we will create policy first okay so let's go and create this particular group so we have this group and this has no policy set here uh, we will add policies uh, later uh, review then you go here and you just create this particular uh, user um, so what I would say is um, this is your access key okay so you copy this guy um, so the Amazon will only show this uh, once to you okay so that's why uh, keep this safe so what I would say is download the CSV file and uh, then copy your uh, secret password whatever this password is there you go you enter that here so download this so you know your credentials are saved because this will this this particular uh, thing is never going to show up okay so what I would say is uh, uh, create uh, download this particular uh, file okay so last thing is uh, just say close okay so then go to policies and you see there are like all these policies so let's go and create one um, to choose a service so here you can just say IOT um, so click on IOT so actions so what I would say is all you have to do is just give that um, you know um, get thing shadow so basically if you are using HTTP so you can create any kind of permissions that you want okay um, but in our case I'm just going to give this particular user all access to my IoT devices so this is much easier then it just pops up and resources click here and uh, say just go ahead and say all resources okay and review policy there you go uh, create YouTube uh, video policy whatever uh, you have full access and then create policy 
okay so basically now if you type in YouTube video policy there you go so basically this guy pops up so in users then you go here so you have this guy uh, I think I clicked on groups so I should have clicked on this guy copying function and attaching a policy directly and add an inline policy okay so there you go um, IOT there you go IOT all IOT actions all resources you can go and specify what uh, exactly the resources you want to give this review policy and uh, uh, okay so this is how uh, you can give uh, permission so basically this particular user can now log in using uh, this particular credential okay so basically it has access to all iot services and the iot services that we create is this you can specify to just give the uh, this particular user only access to this particular thing if you want to okay um, so those are a few details that you can go and change the policy here so basically aws is quite secure so you have to be able to uh, you know control which devices get which access to IOT devices um, but there you go so that's it that's all you have to do um, so now if you look at your dashboard you'll have two users two groups uh, because I already had one but there you go that's it that's all you need to do enter your Wi-Fi uh, credentials and upload this uh, so here what it does is uh, in the loop uh, it just generates a random number and keeps on updating um, to value and here you will see that uh, on the AWS uh, shadow just click on shadow whatever is that uh, 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 value updated in the state so basically it's going to say reported value equal to whatever okay so basically that value is going to be shown in your shadow so basically this is how you would use ESP8266 to connect to an IOT console um, of AWS uh, service that is provided by Amazon